Hello again everyone, hope you're all doing well and thanks for joining us for another video where today we're going to be addressing another one of Flat Earther's favourite arguments. You've probably seen the memes for it. Things like Globies believe that people in Australia are hanging upside down from the ceiling or cruise ships on the equator are sat sideways and don't magically fall off. Because they think, well, people in Australia on a globe should fall off into oblivion. Except, here's a demonstration for any flat earthers watching, because here is a ball, right? Just a plain blue plastic ball. And here is a heavily cropped photograph of that ball. Now, which way is up and which way is down? And I'll wager most people will say, this way is up and this way is down. But then, let's uncrop the photo. And right about now, most people will want to change their answer as to which way is up and which way is down. And here is the problem that Flat Earthers seem to struggle with, which is that up and down are relative directions. You need a frame of reference to determine which way is up and which way is down. And let's be honest, no one can look at a picture of the Earth and work out which way is which without referencing a map on a wall. That's the only frame of reference that we ever have. So Flat Earth is a determining that the North Pole is the top and the South Pole is the bottom because that's what the maps on walls show. If maps were drawn with the North and South Pole at the sides of the page, then people's perception of which way is top and bottom of the Earth would look very different. In the mid-1400s, there was a renowned cartographer called Frau Mora who would orientate most of his maps with south at the top. In fact, many ancient maps used to have east at the top. Some because that would put Jerusalem at the top. Uh, others put it, I believe, because the sun would rise from the east, so they would have the sun rising at the top of the map and setting at the bottom. And in reality, people's perceptions of what is top and bottom of the globe now are all done based off modern day maps. When in reality, Earth has no top and bottom because top and bottom requires a frame of reference. Case in point, where's the top of the moon? What people perceive as the top and the bottom of the moon is going to vary depending on where they are in the world because people's perception and orientation of the moon changes. The moon has a clearly defined north and south pole, but there is no clearly definable top and bottom. Same with Earth. There is no top and bottom. There is a north and a south, but not a top and a bottom. If an alien turned up in the solar system out of the blue and saw Earth for the first time, what they perceived as being top or bottom of the Earth would depend on what way they were spun when they arrived. And this is where flat Earthers confuse relative directions on a ball in space. Because to anyone on this globe, up is just away from the floor and down is towards the floor. It doesn't matter where you are, Anyone on Earth is essentially always at the top because for any point on the Earth, the globe is always appearing to fall away from you. Anyone in Australia, to them, they're at the top of the Earth because it's curving away from them in all directions. I know flat Earthers are about to have a hissy fit because they think, no, Australia's at the bottom. Again, only because they are referencing it based off a map on a wall. To a plain blue ball against a completely empty black background, up and down now, your only frame of reference is your screen that you're viewing this on and your surroundings. If I change the orientation of the ball, your perception changes as well. Gravity is pulling everything inwards towards the middle. So up just becomes away from that pull of gravity and down becomes towards it. And in infinite space, there is no real frame of reference to work off. Up, down, left and right, all just depends on what orientation you're in to start with. As always, this probably won't make a blind bit of difference to Flat Earthers' opinions. 
but it's fun to discuss, I think. So, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already done so, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. And if you'd like to help support the channel further, there is a link to my Patreon account down below as well. And then hopefully, we'll see you in the next video.